Hello and welcome back everybody to yet another one of my videos. My name is Damien and today we are going to be taking a look at where you can get your hands on the Meteoric Staff. Now the staff itself can be located in West Kaelid inside the Swamp of Aeonia, but first you're going to need to make your way to the Smoldering Rule site of Grace which can be located here on the map. Once you've made your way to the Smoldering Rule site of Grace, we are going to be heading a short distance southeast inside of the Swamp of Aeonia, and then we'll be making our way over to the Street of Sages Ruins to look for the Meteoric Staff. But first, go ahead, make your way to the Smoldering Rule site of Grace, jump on Torrent, and follow exactly where I'm going on the screen. Once you've reached this area of the swamp, go ahead and make your way inside of this ruin and then inside of this collapsed tower on your right is the Meteoric Staff. Now that we have the Meteoric Staff in our possession, we can finally take a look at some of its stats, starting with its physical attack which is at 39. It also has a sorcery scaling of 265 at its max level. It has a D scaling in strength and an S scaling in intelligence with a strength requirement of 6 and an intelligence requirement of 18. And finally it has no skill and a very light weight of 4.5. A few things to note are that this staff boosts gravity sorceries by 30%. These include Rock Sling, Meteorite, Meteorite of Astal, Gravity Well and Collapsing Stars. The staff is also unupgradable, but will carry you until at least mid to late game, as all other staffs will need to be upgraded to plus 15 to even match this. Now if you want this staff's passive ability, but you don't want to wield this staff as you found a better one, then you can actually offhand this staff to still get the ability while using another staff in your main hand. Some better staffs than this one include the Demi-Human Queen Staff, the Glintstone Academy Staff, or the Korean Regal Scepter. As far as I know, these are the only three staffs that will heavily outperform this staff once upgraded. However, unupgraded, this staff is still the outperformer and the best in its class. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for today. Now hopefully this video has been helpful and informative, but if it hasn't, you're still stuck or have any other questions, drop us a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If however this video did help you out, please consider slapping that like button as it helps my channel to grow, and if you want to support me as a content creator or just see more videos like this, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Anyway guys, my name is Damien, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.